you welcome back to my channel welcome to the baby moon vlog this is going to be us going to the Maldives which is something I cannot believe that I'm actually saying I've wanted to go here well I actually had this booked a few years ago but then Covid hit and then it ended up just getting cancelled because it kept getting pushed back anyway we're going here he is going with my uh, baby daddy this is going to be our last holiday, just the two of us, before this little girl makes an appearance. So we thought, why not go all out? Also, show the hair. This is the new hair. Do you want to explain how the waves work? They're not, they're not really there yet. They're getting there. It's a good question. But last time Cass was in a video, he had his like longer twisty hair, which I think so. Personally, I, I like this hair, but that is my favourite. You can see it really wavy, actually. Let me flip the camera. So basically, this is the desired look, isn't it? <laughs> desired look? Yeah, like the little just, kinks in the hair. Yeah, but it's just like a, it's a hair. Group. How are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, you. So I originally planned to vlog when Cass found out that I secretly upgraded us to business, but basically <laughs> the, I should have guessed when we got to the bit where you drop your bags off okay, technically checking but I'd already checked this in online she put these little tags on our bags I think they're at the top and it said business and Cass was looking at me like oh my god she's upgraded us and I was thinking there's not a chance in hell I'm letting him think that I didn't organise it so I was like surprise Very great. how's it going so far? enjoying? <laughs> He honestly is like, I don't think I can go back. I was like, this is the thing. As soon as you do business, that's the only problem. You don't want to travel any other way. But obviously, it is a very nice treat that doesn't happen all the time. But like I said, last holiday, before the baby, very excited. And I just cannot believe we're going to the Maldives. Anyway, guys, it's been great knowing you. but uh... <laughs> This is his favourite part. This joke, is, he's already done this joke about five times. And we've only been on the flight for an hour. I quite like it like that actually, to be honest. Anyways, I'm gonna watch a movie. We've just ordered our food as well. And then. Such a mess. We will see you in. Oh, okay, so when we get to Dubai, we've got to get off for like, I think, two hours. And then we get onto a different plane. I'm showing my socks. Oh, we've both got compression socks on. Mine are under my leggings. But obviously. Mine were a necessity for pregnancy, and then Cass just. <laughs> I wanted to make you feel like you're not alone. No, you didn't. You went off your own back. You, st you just told me that you'd got yourself on because you struggled with medical issues or something. What did you say? No, oh, uh, my feet swell. <laughs> I've never known your feet swell. So I don't complain about it like you would. <laughs> after what feels like a million hours very confused by the time ends what is the time now like 8 a.m here yeah quarter to eight. it's quarter to eight here but we're five hours ahead of the uk and then obviously nine, oh it's quarter to nine yeah. how long was we waiting for them cases but we stopped in dubai obviously for a couple of hours which was a different time frame again and now we oh my god we're going on the plane again it's been a mystery this whole time whether we're getting on a seaplane or a boat because we just knew we had to wait till we got here but this kind gentleman in front of us is very fast and he's taking our suitcases and it looks like we're going on another plane so third plane of the day Thursday the 19th I'm in my beach where it is so hot here and it is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life and obviously I'm going to show you in the vlog it is the next day so I haven't vlogged since yesterday morning I'm still getting very confused by the time but we're five hours ahead of the UK I had a little bit of a down day yesterday as in some downtime 
and just decided it's best not to vlog. I need to kind of pull myself together, get back on track with my sleep because we haven't slept for around 24 hours. So I'm feeling a lot better today after a very long sleep. And we've actually moved rooms, which I'll explain in a sec, but I thought whilst it's tidy, <laughs> I'll give you a room tour. We've literally not unpacked anything. Our cases are literally right here. So here's the bathroom. Nice double sink. We are staying at the Rio. I think that's how you say it. I've literally stayed at about, I was trying to count last night, like 10 of these hotels, like growing up, my family love these. They're really reliable, like all inclusive holidays and they're all over the world. I still don't know how you say it, Rio, I think, or Rui. <laughs> But it's called Rio at all. I'll put it on the screen, leave it down below. I would have had so many questions. So nice big double sink, big shower. And then when it's dark and it's light in here, it lights up the room, it's really nice. This room is actually really nice and spacious. I've got big double wardrobes, which to be honest, I've packed so well. If you watched my pack with me, I don't think I will hang up stuff. So I might just live out my case, but we'll see. Nice king bed, sofa, we've got our mini fridge, and then balcony. So, our balcony view, well, it's this, oh, it's very quiet, so this place is crazy. It's like you could hear a pin drop a lot of the time. Our view, which I'm gonna, oh my God, can you see how this, the, the lens just steams up because it's so humid here. Hold on, I'm gonna have to stand back and wipe the lens. <laughs> Here we go. So obviously stunning view, the beach is literally there. It's a little bit hazy, so the sea, oh, you can literally not see at all. But our view from our last room was insane because the trees were a little bit more gappy. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still stunning. Um, but we moved because, wait, let me come out of here because it's just way too humid on site. That might be a problem. We might be struggling to vlog outside if it's gonna just keep steaming up. I remember that happened yesterday. I'll put a clip on the screen. You can see our old balcony from this actually, but the sunset. So I had a nap last night and I set an alarm, but I woke up just before it and it was just the most beautiful sunset ever. I just on it I cannot believe we're here. It's just such a pinch me holiday and I just wanna absorb every single second so as much as i want to vlog and i want to have this memory and it's one of my favorite things about my job is that i can look back on every trip and every moment that i've documented but at the same time i really want to just be so present and in the moment i said to cast like my aim is to just have like no screen time i'm going to be looking at my apple screen time i want it to be like a tenth of what it normally is and just even if it means just sit on the beach and stare at the water because it's that perfect. Anyways, I've diverted. Sunset, yeah, beautiful. So our last room, literally this, but flipped the other way, I think. It was about a 15 minute walk from everything. So right now, where, where our balcony is, if you could see, the pool is like 100 meters that way. And then around the pool is all the restaurants, kind of like all the, main hustle and bustle of the hotel our room was 15 minutes that way fine it was absolutely fine until i'd done the walk probably twice yesterday my feet swelled up like balloons and i just thought if i had the option to move rooms because they did kind of suggest it when i got there they were like oh you're pregnant um let us know if it's like too much walking so we thought about it and i was just like i don't want to seem like I'm just snapping my fingers and wanting to change everything but if the option's there I said to Cass do you mind if we moved rooms and he was like it is so hot to be doing this walk <laughs> a couple of times a day because we were coming back to the room whether it was to just have some time out the sun or just we forgot something but now we're in this room it's a lot closer the only thing the, the view from that is the same view but <laughs> the trees are a little bit more gappy but anyway the flight was fine if anyone's watching this and they're pregnant and they're wondering how i got along with the flight socks and everything i was absolutely fine the only thing that swelled was my lips my lips got so puffy but i kind of liked it it was kind of cute and i thought oh my god i beat the swollen feet and to be honest there's no point showing you now because i feel like you wouldn't even be able to tell and i didn't even take a picture yesterday 
I can feel in myself, like when I touch them and when I look at them, they don't look like my feet, they still look puffy. But it's just the heat and it's just being away and being pregnant. That is the update. <laughs> Not to bore you and have a Maldives vlog sitting in the room having a little chin wag. But I've come in now because like I said, I'm just gonna have the odd hour or so out in the sun. I just think it would, is a good idea. It's like 32 degrees, it's very hot. And guys, when I show you this place, it is so beautiful. I just cannot believe it. But I'll take you along on as much as we do here. Obviously, pregnancy permitted, there's not going to be loads. I think Cass wants to do a little bit of either scuba diving or snorkeling, which he'll have to do on his own. I'm not allowed to go, we've already asked. And there's other stuff like paddle boarding, which again, you can do at the hotel, but I don't think. They're gonna let me do it. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. Good evening. I've not vlogged since this morning because every time I stepped outside with the camera, it just steamed up. So, pardon? Yeah, it should be fine now because it's sunset, so it has cooled down massively, but. We're gonna go down and watch the sunset. It is due to rain at six, which is now, and then the sun is supposed to set at 6.18, but because it hasn't actually rained, it looks a little bit cloudy, which means the, we might not be able to see sunset, basically. Good job one of us got to see it last night, though. But either way, we've, um, <laughs> this looks so stupid. Are you joking? Why did you not tell me that? <laughs> Imagine how that is. Imagine yeah true so i put this dress on which is gorgeous yeah i don't really care and it's pretty see through because obviously it's net um it's from naked i did show this in a haul but it's gonna be dark i'll put my hair over it it's gonna be dark very soon and we've literally just come out to wander to the beach so this is the pool i've literally not given any tour like i said it's the humidity my camera literally just bugs out well it doesn't it just oh <gasps> wow I mean, it's just a pink circle, but. Good morning. Let's go straight outside and do a test run of the humidity on the camera. I'm determined. Feels a little bit. Ooh, a little bit cooler today. I think we're good. Okay, looks like today might be the first day I can take the camera out. They said it's due to, well, they said it was due to rain last night, and then the weather today just says loads of wind signs. It doesn't actually say sunny, but obviously it is beautiful and sunny. But I'm hoping that's made the temperature drop a little bit. So I can actually take you out today and show you around. This is the entrance to the main pool. And then obviously the beach is at the back. We haven't actually laid around the pool once because we both agreed that you can lay around the pool at any holiday. And oh, you can see Cass. I don't know if you can see him, he's here at the swim up bar. But yeah, we can lay around the pool in Spain. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna get a beach like this every holiday. So here's the swim up pool. And then there's a bar around the back. Restaurants over here, and then I will take you around to the beach, and then straight off the pool, we have the star of the show the gorgeous beach. It's the white sand for me, honestly. Oh, I just cannot cope. It is honestly one of these places where no matter how many times I look up, I feel like I'm speechless. I can't even explain, I hope, well, you guys would have seen pictures of the Maldives before, but it is exactly like photos. You know when you go to take a photo of something, you're like, oh, it doesn't look as good on camera. Like it, it looks good in every single angle, with your eyes, camera, anything. Even yesterday when it was cloudy, which I do think it might cloud over again. It's obviously a very tropical country. It just looks stunning. Oh my God, look at the fish. Can you see? Oh my god, this water's so clear. I'm so obsessed. Hello. Hello. 
How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome. Welcome to the Maldives vlog. Isn't it a little bit less humid today? Yeah. It's meant to be windy, but it's not really that windy. I was just saying, no matter what the sky looks like, the water still looks gorge. Also, I didn't mention this. I can't see a thing on this screen, but here, you might have seen, I'll put it on the screen, but I uploaded a photo on the swings. For some reason, they took the swings away. Someone was having too much fun. Well, tell them what you've just picked. You'll have to take the camera and vlog. Yeah, they said there's a, because I asked about the drone one, they were like, oh, we don't do that. But there's a compartment in the jet ski you can put your phone in. I don't know how safe it is. Come on then, explain. I'm going jet skiing on Sunday. <laughs> 10 o'clock, 10, 15. Wait, so where do they take you? It's a tour around somewhere. I'm actually gutted. Jet skiing is probably one of my favorite things in the whole world. I'll do it for you. Thank you. Can we stop the clock and rewind? Go back to that moment in time. When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya. Begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the one I want and I love ya. No, 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 no lie. I miss your touch. She's a little bit crispy. I have put on so much SPF. I definitely think your skin's more sensitive when you're preg. Um, I wore this dress, I think on the first night. Go on. Explain in a sec. Thank you. Go on completely. Yeah. Basically, I've got soaking wet hair, so there was a wet patch in the back of the dress. But this hotel is amazing customer service because we went to reception because we lost our key, and we said we can't get booked in the steakhouse because you basically have to book their restaurants on an app. And he was like, "If I can get you in tomorrow night, I'll send you a letter for your door." What was that, the front door? A letter? Yeah, slipped under our door like a little love note. And it said, please come to the steakhouse for now at half eight, which is two minutes away. So we need to leave. And yeah. Oh, I don't know about these knickers. They're very, hmm. And I have a stain on this top, but wet hair and no makeup on. So there we go. But me and him kind of match tonight, which is cute. I'm not wearing a single thing gray. Yeah, but like the tones. Yeah, yeah. Today. today is the 21st and it is official I feel like I've said this so much because I've said it on TikTok Instagram but I'm 30 weeks today I actually hugged Cass just now and he felt a kick in his stomach didn't you what do these look like they're not like dad vibes you're a dad no I know but uh, they are literally your dad you know that right no, no. what you no they're quite cool and he's got me with the pearl necklace I put my Pearl necklace on today. This. Are you winding me up? Sorry. I'm leaving that in just to humiliate you. <laughs> this necklace is from Astrid and Mew. I don't know how you say that. And then this swimming costume is from Hunza G. It was just before I come away. We've had a whole day pretty much. We're about to go for a walk. It's half three. My camera's been charging pretty much all day. How about this? No. Why have you bought that? It goes everywhere for me. Are, you, are they playing? No. Hmm. Had a really nice chilled day. Just exactly how we want to be spending this trip, to be honest. Oh, got my sunglasses on now. You just look at an annoying smell. <laughs> <laughs> Put them lower on your face. Let down your nose a bit, that's it. Don't. Oh, sad story. The last ones I had of them in the brown colorway I left on an airplane. over to the other side of our hotel if you've been here before you'll understand what I mean but the way 
this hotel is it's kind of split across the island and this end is called palace i think but we just had a look around and we wondered why quite a lot of people come over basically we've got different wristbands they've got gold we've got blue and we always see people with gold wristbands at ours but I just feel like there's not much going on over here it's very quiet and then here's a little bit of the beach my love just rest assured i'm yours i'm yours tell me what you're running for because you don't have to try so On the vlog it happened if it's not it didn't mind your, business. <laughs> mind your business if we didn't go but yeah that oh you there's no point yeah, me explaining perfect time. oh is it gonna take us back that'd be amazing they've also got buggies here we don't have buggies outside hi can we jump on please thank you oh my god i'm taking my hat off thank you also fun fact when i rode on this earlier I had to scream stop because my hat flew off. <laughs> Luckily it didn't fly into the sea because you know that hat is my life. Just chucked on this sheer dress. I showed this in the little haul I did a vlog the other day. This was in the Zara sale. And I got this for like 15 pound. And when I looked, when I uploaded it, God, he's in the purple shirt. We're both wearing stripes. <laughs> when I looked and linked it in my video the other day, it gone down to nine pounds. So if it's still there, I will link it because it's so nice for holiday. I'll link this as well if you like. <laughs> they absolutely will not need that. Who wants to buy a loser's top? <laughs> We're gonna go and watch the sunset. <sighs> Good morning. I can't believe we've managed it. Oh God, I look tired. I am tired. <sighs> so I don't even know if you can even see sunset properly here sunrise not sunset but we wanted to give it a good go we'll potentially be coming back to bed in like half an hour we'll see what's it looking like out there right we should probably go we should it's getting bright we've got 20 minutes to be fair we've got about 10 minutes till sunrise but it's already looking so pretty we've not actually been to this side of the beach because this is like parts of people's apartments and there isn't much this side for us to come to as in the other side where the sun sets is where the pool is where our room is so we just had no reason to come around here but it is beautiful <laughs> obviously it's pretty much the same as the other side but sunrise looks like it's gonna be pretty around here oh, it's just so beautiful even if that's as good as the sunrise is gonna get because of the clouds Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Think I like your body when I just cop close that I knew it look good on you. Who do you think you are? Baby, you're an asset. Cause if I'm rocking with you, you're as good as it gets. But you It's about quarter past seven now. Back from sunrise. We just looked back at our photos and the best it was was when we first got to the beach before the sun even came up when it was all pink. I'll put it on the screen, but you don't know what you've got till it's gone, do you? Keeping you up? Yeah. <laughs> this one's going jet skiing in a little while. Morning. Morning. I'm actually going to be handing the vlog over to this guy now. Hi guys, I'm just on my way jet skiing. We're here at the hub. I'm going to take you on a trip with me. Um, Obviously, if I do see some sharks, I will dive in because that's no, what I do. because you're connected to the jet ski river. Doesn't matter. I'll disconnect. Right, anyway, gotta go, guys. See this, you in a This is your contract. Up. Say, I solemnly swear I'll be safe. Yeah, man. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not allowed to go, but I'm very jealous. My favourite thing ever, jet skiing. 
and I'm actually having a massage at the same time so I can't really complain but I'm going to try and get some clips of him before he goes off he's taking his phone so I've told him he's got a vlog I'm only like but they're only going on a shallow bit you what? they're not doing they're not going out like deep deep because it's too rough apparently well it's fear and health and safety darling it's not the point is it he did say I you have to do backflips <laughs> stop it also <laughs> show everyone your gadget Ooh. to be fair we're such a waste we've literally got these at home I've got to go now tutorial Does it look like I've just woke up from a two hour nap? Because we have, we missed sunset. I did set an alarm for it. I peeked out the window and it was cloudy. So I went back to sleep. I blame Cass because he likes to have a nap every evening and tonight I thought I'd join. Honestly, five minutes ago, I did not know like this. I'm not gonna lie, I've put on some minimal makeup and chopped on this dress, which is from ASOS. It's actually really cute. It's got the back out a little bit, I'll link it if it's available, it's maternity. And then my good old crochet bag. These LV slides. And we're ready for dinner, it's about half eight. And I think tonight is gonna to be an eat and then come back to bed because we are so tired from getting up at, what time did we get up? 6 a.m. today. And just being on holiday is exhausting. If you know, you know no one comes for me. We're pedaloing today, well, for the next hour. And Cass actually suggested us going on a kayak, but I just don't think that's a bit of me, to be honest, at the best of times. And yeah, this life jacket just about fits. But we're gonna go out. Cass is gonna do a little bit of looking around at the fish. He's bought some goggles. He actually went this morning with, um, we made some friends. And he had Catherine and, Mark. Catherine and Mark, shout out. I've been teaching them about Instagram because they don't like social media, which is completely fine. They had some goggles and some snorkels and Cass went snorkeling in earlier because yeah, just with my mate Mark. <laughs> with Cass's mate Mark. And me and Catherine just had a little chat. But now I'm gonna get involved, I'm gonna take part in some of the activities. So this is what is going down. And it's actually, can you tell how I'm ripping Wait, getting? you do it. What? Can you just do it? I know, both of What? I don't know when one, one pedal is at one stage still. This is probably the most exercise I've had since, <laughs> definitely this year. <laughs> it's so hot here, but it's so beautiful. And I've not been vlogging loads because, to be honest, we've not been doing loads, but that is what we came here to do, just really chill. And I put on my story Best. yesterday that we've been having naps and everything every day and people were doing me like, that's what Baby Moon's all about. This is a great angle of the hotel, actually. So many people have asked me about where we're staying. So obviously you've got the water villas here and then the other side, oh, my toes, of the hotel. Their water villas are over here. This is the sports bit where we just got the pedalo paddle board, stuff like that. And then there's the restaurants, the swimming pool and sunbeds. And then these are the rooms on the beach, which we are in the first block here. But originally we were like way down there. The hotels divided into... <laughs> Someone wants <some> attention! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's an overview of the hotel from the water. Did you know I have naturally curly hair? 
well yeah no it actually looks curly here doesn't it it's gonna say slash wavy using my mirror light which i honestly have turned on for the first time right this second i've lugged this the whole way across the freaking world and i've completely forgot i had it until right now this is literally see hair is that a bit gross that i've left my hair how it looked in the sea it looks way better on camera than it does in real life it looks very frizzy because of humidity i'm all ready let me show you my outfit it's just a black dress to be honest from plt you literally can't see it but it's a pleated dress and it's just like a tube dress with a slit which is very very comfy and actually quite flattering if I'm being honest, but we're gonna go to dinner now. It's pretty late, it's like quarter to nine. We stayed out, the latest we've stayed, like around the pool, we watched the sunset. Oh, I'm gonna put clips over the top because I filmed up my phone. It was so beautiful. One of them where the camera just doesn't pick up how beautiful it is. It just looked oh, breathtaking. And we just had a few drinks, we made friends. Well, we've made friends a few days ago with, actually I mentioned this on the pedalo, Catherine and Mark. And now it's dinner time and then tomorrow is our last day. But anyways, I don't think I'm gonna take the camera out so I will speak to you guys in the morning. Just like that, it is our final night in, honestly, the closest I feel like I'm ever gonna get to heaven. This country, island, place is just, I think I have said it in one of these clips, but it really is exactly like you see in the pictures the movies on pinterest and it exceeds that it's just so beautiful today haven't actually vlogged we've just had a really nice chill day it was really overcast but it was fine i'm actually glad it was because i feel like i was a bit sore my children a little bit red and it was nice to just enjoy each other's company on the last day and just Play games. We watched the most beautiful sunset. Oh my god! Considering it had been rubbish weather all day, it was the best sunset I think we've seen since we've been here. But this trip has been so needed. I can't. I'm gonna be honest. I did kind of question if we'd made the right decision on the way here, just because the journey was very long. It's honestly, been one of the best weeks my life we've both agreed like it's been our favorite trip and it's so strange because it's the holiday where we've done the least but you literally there's not loads you can do because you're literally plonked on an island in the middle of nowhere and it's just i can't even put it into words it's just been a perfect week it's just been amazing i feel like i've said perfect like eight times but the perfect last little extravaganza before we go home and obviously crack on and wait for the arrival of little miss but if you're thinking about treating yourself to back to the Maldives 100% put it on your bucket list make sure you go at some point in your life if you get the opportunity and I'm just so grateful that we have had the opportunity to come here at such a young age and hopefully come back one day who knows but yeah 10 out of 10 trip this vlog has probably not been the most exciting thing ever because like i said it's so remote just picture a little island i'm gonna google and i'm gonna put it on the screen how big this island is that we're on like you can literally walk around it in probably like an hour or so maybe not me maybe not my speed but it's just been really grounding and I don't know, it's just kind of just brought me back down to reality in a way like I've really took myself away from my phone I feel like we've really not been on our phones much obviously other than like taking pictures which we obviously want to remember this trip for the rest of our lives and we most definitely will and if anyone's wondering, I do recommend this hotel it's a hotel with a little bit of atmosphere if that's what you're looking for the people we've spoke to that have been here that at the moment they've been to the Maldives before They've said this is probably like the most lively hotel, which I based booking this trip off the company of the hotel, Rio, or Rui, whatever it is, because I knew they were reliable and I've been on these trips 
to these hotels before in the past and I feel like they never really let you down like yeah of course there's some that are better than others and this is probably one of the better ones I've been to because obviously the price point they have to kind of up their game but yeah it depends obviously there's going to be some even more remote ones but we do like a little bit of atmosphere a little bit of activities around the pool just some something to like pe people to people watch you know if you're literally i can't imagine being on an island smaller than this but there obviously are places like that but yeah obviously like, we, we can only base it off where we've been which is here and we've thoroughly enjoyed it don't have much to compare it to but it's been amazing this is gonna be me tonight i'm not even gonna put any makeup on i literally live in these skip dresses you'll probably be so bored of seeing me in these dresses at this point but they're just so comfy and my face looks quite pale but it's me wearing fat to 50 every day but i'm impressed with my tan for a week my body is a lot more tanned but i can't really see it but i hope you enjoyed watching this video i might as well wrap it here because we're literally What's he doing out there? We're literally gonna go to dinner and we need to pack because we got a letter for our door that they're picking up our luggage at 3.45 a.m. Tomorrow I think we're just gonna be very tired and there's not gonna obviously be much for me to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to watch this video back for the rest of my life because just the most special memories. I can't even tell you. Like you wouldn't understand. Just just been paradise. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you're all doing well. Bye guys.